in most of the apps that you're building, you will probably need some kind of authentication mechanism. And uh, to understand that, uh, you need to know how uh, HTTP sessions uh, working. So that's exactly what we're going to look into today. So the stack will be bun to run our JavaScript on the server. Then I'm going to use Hono framework and we'll take a look how to set cookies and what uh, are HTTP sessions and how that all works together. So let's just uh, go straight to the editor. I create a simple project uh, that's um, kind of thing that will you'll get by running something like bun uh, create uh, hono and then uh, the project name at the end. I already done that. Uh, so the structure looks like this. Uh, it's just a single file in uh, source folder. And then we have some package JSON to manage uh, our dependencies. Uh, so the only change I did is I just renamed TypeScript to JavaScript uh, to keep things simple. And then you need to change it here because it's by default, it's TypeScript. So it will be something like that. But yeah, now we have our simple application. Uh, if you're familiar with uh, Express in Node, uh, you'll find this uh, similar as well. So it basically we're creating in the application new Hono right here, and then we can create our roots. So now we just have our uh, root, uh, just uh, slash, and it will return hello Hono. To run that, we need to execute run, uh, bun run dev. And now if we go to our browser and reload it, uh, we'll see our uh, hello Hono message. I already opened um, the inspector, and if you go to application tab and then to cookies, um, you see that it's empty now, but we'll see stuff here as we progress with the video. Let's go back and to add a new root, uh, we can chain it here. So let's say we um, we create a new root, say something like set uh, cookie. And uh, this C stands for context. This is what we have in Hon, Hono as um, to describe uh, request and response. And here, let's say we want to return something. Return C text, uh, let's say uh, done. So obviously, like when you're setting cookies, probably you'll have something like post or put method here, but um, in this uh, video, I'll keep things simple and we'll just use get handlers for everything. Uh, it doesn't really affect anything. It's just like not the uh, uh, usual way as you're doing things. But yeah, so to set cookie, there are uh, helpers in um, uh, in Hono. So I prepared a small uh, cheat sheet right here. So to set a cookie, I want this bit. And if we go back, um, this will be our cookie name, cookie name, and this will be our cookie value. So to import uh, this set cookie helper, I just do it from Hono slash cookie. And now if I reload my page, uh, we now have a correct response done. And now we see that cookie is right here. So we have cookie name and cookie value. To now progress with sessions, uh, I'm going to use this small uh, library uh, for Hono sessions. And uh, to install that, we want to run our bun install command. Uh, let's go right here, open a new terminal, and we do bun install Hono sessions. That's done. So um, let's go through these docs really quickly. So the idea of um, uh, sessions is that uh, HTTP requests are independent and they are stateless. So there is no idea when you do a request that were previous requests and we cannot share state, right? But we can use cookies uh, in the browser to set something. Uh, and this cookie will be uh, sent to our 
um, next uh, HTTP request. So if we create some cookie meaning session, we can use the data of the cookie to understand that this is session for the user. And uh, on the back end, we have multiple options. So the uh, most simple one, I would say, is just to uh, encrypt uh, our session data into a cookie value. In that case, we uh, are fully stateless on, on the back end. We don't have to store any mapping between uh, cookie ID and uh, uh, cookie data, uh, session data in the uh, back end. But uh, it, uh, and it, it's called uh, cookie session store uh, when we just you rely on cookies uh, to store the data. But also they're in memory uh, storage and uh, the database storage. So you can create a helper table in your database. So for example, using SQLite or Postgres or something. And then uh, th that table will represent the session data. So in, uh, in that case, in cookie uh, value, we'll just get a session ID. And then the session ID will be mapped to uh, session value uh, through that database request. Today, we're going to focus on uh, uh, cookie store, which is the simplest, uh, uh, simplest idea, simplest way to implement sessions. So let's grab this thing and let's start building our application. All right. Um, so let's put it here. We now have our cookie store. I need to import that from Hona Sessions. And then we want our, our session middleware. So this is app.use. So we can put it right here. Uh, let's kill this uh, comments. We don't need this for now. Just let's keep things really simple. Let's import session middleware as well. And this is our cookie store. So now we uh, already added a middleware uh, that basically works as uh, a layer. Uh, so each request uh, goes through middleware entry points. Then it goes to the final uh, handler, a logic like this. And then on the other side, uh, the request that we're returning here is going through middleware as well. So we can access uh, both uh, request and response in the middleware, and we can transform that. So session middleware will uh, uh, we'll look into uh, our um, uh, cookies that we have in requests and response, and after that uh, it will uh, decrypt the cookie value if we need it, so we can access it inside our handlers. And if we want to create a session and we can uh, we want to put some data in the session, we can do that in our request handlers and it will be uh, stored in a cookie. So this is how you configure the middleware. And uh, as you see, we have store, cookie store, and then you need encryption key, especially for cookie store, because you want to encrypt your data. You don't want to pass uh, uh, unencrypted value inside cookie value. Uh, and uh, as you can see, the requirement here is you have at least 32 characters long password. And uh, also, probably you don't want to hard code it here and you want to put it somewhere in uh, env's. So we can create a file called env, env.local for our local tests. And let's um, put the value. Uh, same value, but it will be just nicely stored in a file. Uh, so let's do it like this. And after that, we can um, access that in uh, in our handlers, in our code with this bond.env uh, thing. Let's, uh, let's actually get, get this thing. And let's go to our index.js. And let's log it right here. So the secret session, this is our uh, terminal where we run our app. And now let's get this thing and put it here as well. Okay. Now we go to browser and reload the page. Yeah, it's working now, so I just want uh, 
have had to re restart the server to load the ENVs. Uh, so now we have access to our password and we using it here as well. It's time to go to to implement a couple more um, handlers here. So let's say we want uh, to log in. So we still uh, will get this context and we'll do something. So yeah, um, just to keep things simple, we will always return a redirect, c.redirect to, uh, to the root. Uh, but uh, we'll basically assume that login is successful. Uh, we want to set the session right here. And to do that, we uh, can use the session from uh, the context. So let's grab this bit. So what happens here is we, um, let's say const, um, const session. Uh, we're getting session from uh, from the context. Uh, then we are just printing uh, the value of the session, and then we're using this session dot set, and we putting user ID there. And like let's say our user will be something like some random stuff. Um, let's go to the browser, and uh, if we navigate to login. It's uh, we see it, we were redirected back to uh, our homepage um, to the root, but now we see new cookie here with a long value. Probably you don't see the value, but yeah, you should see it now. Um, and now if we go here, um, let's move this log uh, into our root uh, handler. We reload that and it should be printing now. Yeah, so we have our cookie and you see data user ID and this is the value that we put there. So now we can use this information inside our handlers to define if our user was logged in. Uh, but before that, let's also implement the logout. Logout. Um, we don't need this anymore, so it's fine to remove. And again, I want to do the same thing. I want to redirect it back to uh, to the root after uh, the logout. And uh, we want to clean the session here. And to do that, there is a delete session function. So let's put it right here. So again, we're getting a session from uh, the context and then we call this delete session, right? And um, yeah, to add a bit of UI, uh, let's create something in our uh, root page. Uh, so we will, if we have session user ID in the session, we'll uh, show the information and uh, lo link to logout. Uh, if not, we'll just render the e link to login um, handler, right? Um, Let's grab this uh, thing. So a cool thing about um, uh, Bun that you can render your JSX into HTML uh, quite easily. So if we do it here, uh, you can see that um, I'm using now a HTML response and I can just provide some uh, HTML defined as JSX syntax. And what we have here is we're checking if user ID exists. Uh, if it is, we will create a div and a href to log out. Uh, in opposite case, we'll do uh, we'll render just um, div with a reference to login. And yeah, we just need to get this uh, user ID here. So let's say uh, where is our session? Um, we want the same thing like session const session and then we will do const user id and it will be session dot get um, uh, user id and let's see how it looks now right so we have our uh, user id uh, from the session 
then we do logout and now the session is there but if we check our logs you now see that data is empty so we don't have user id anymore and uh, this is nil so we are rendering this if statement if branch uh, to just have a login and now if we do login we redirect it back and we now have the session and that's it that's how session works so in the next video i'll uh, extend this example and we'll add uh, google um, oos uh, flow and it will start feeling as a real application but yeah hope you enjoyed it and find it useful uh, please like subscribe um, to the channel and yeah comments if you have any questions i'm happy to help um, yeah and you all can always support me on buy me coffee page if you want and um, thanks a lot uh, see you next video bye bye